It's a high-speed police chase. Sometimes police chases go a bit too far, and these are just that kind of chases. From expert getaway drivers to dangerous crashes, these chases had everyone in shock. We won't make you wait. Let's dive in. Number one, Chaos Corner. When things start to get crazy, just hang on. On July 2022, Byron, Georgia had its roller coaster of a day when a reckless SUV swerved down the State Highway 42, nearly sideswiping oncoming traffic. A bunch of people tried to stop the car at a highway intersection, but when the cops got there, the driver, Sierra Hibbert, didn't cooperate at all. To stop her from getting away, the cops put some stop sticks under her tires. But instead of stopping, Hibbert backed into a car then sped forward and hit a cop and another car. She kept going and hit two witnesses and another police car before driving off on the highway with a flat tire. The police attempted to block her again, but Hibbert backed into yet another police car and rammed forward once more, causing serious damage. The chase ended a short distance away, where officers managed to block her in and take her into custody. Amazingly, no one was seriously hurt. Number two, police chase talented driver. Driving on average is something that anyone could be capable of, but it is completely something else when done under pressure. A young man in Oklahoma City was driving with illegal contraband and firearms when a patrol car stopped him for the usual license and registration check. While the officers were checking up on his details with the police database, the driver, knowing of the kind of cargo that he was carrying, panicked and decided to make a run for it. Now, this wasn't completely another thoughtless move. Rather, this driver was confident in himself and his skills that he could have a chance at getting out if he made the right moves. Even with the confidence and skill, the extreme adrenaline rush and emotions put him in fear of a terrible collision. At this point, the cops used the standard hit on the rear wheel spot to flip the car 360, but the driver, who had good muscle memory, was able to swiftly turn around and get back on his way. It wasn't until the fourth time that the cops repeated the same strategy, followed by a reverse chase until they finally managed to take him down. Number three, Lathrop Pursuit. It's a high-speed police chase. On Sunday, January 2024, in Lathrop, California, police officers responded to a domestic violence call on Shadywood Avenue. When officers arrived, the suspect tried to flee away and started a police chase that led to the southbound Interstate 5. During the chase, one of the suspect's tires blew out, forcing him to a stop, but he was undeterred and attempted to carjack a vehicle on the interstate. In a dramatic scene, Valdez clung to the victim's car window as it sped down the road. Eventually, the victim was pulled over to the shoulder and he tried to enter the vehicle through the passenger door. At this critical moment, an officer neutralized him and was taken to the hospital before being booked into San Joaquin County Jail. Number four, crash. Usually, High-speed pursuits are triggered by nervous drivers or those already transporting illegal merchandise of all kinds. But this one is quite unexpected. Warren police released footage where they stopped a suspicious-looking driver to run his details in the system. They had the car stopped with both the officers that were talking to the driver, who also happened to have his door open. At this point, the halted driver suddenly starts making a run for it, and the cops, instead of trying to pull out the driver, let him go, only to quickly get back into their squad car, starting a pursuit. The suspect drove through neighborhoods, parking lots, footpaths, and even the grassy ground in an attempt to get away. When none of that worked in his favor, he then attempted to break the red light, only to end up running into a decent-sized logistics truck. Number five, Cobb County Chase. After vehicle plates were picked up by a flock camera that connected the vehicle to a murder suspect out of Miami, Florida, the vehicle was heading in Cobb Parkway, at which point the first squad car started following him. By reaching the Cumberland Mall, backup had nearly arrived, 
and officers started to get in position to box in the suspect in the first attempt itself. To make it easier to catch the suspect, the officer attempted to make the stop look like a traffic felony based on the driver's intuition, at which point the driver fled away. The chase that followed was rather surprising, much slower and calmer than an average police chase, where after traveling several miles, police SUVs were able to bring the suspect's vehicle to a halt by hitting on the back of the bumper of the car, making the driver lose balance, doing a better job at boxing in at least this time. Exercising extra caution, the officers stepped out from their squad cars and finally were able to take the suspect into custody. Number 6. Stolen Hyundai On May 7, 2024, cop cars from Ohio's Columbus Division released dash camera videos of a dramatic police chase involving two teenagers who stole a series of vehicles, including a Hyundai Elantra. The flock cameras alerted the authorities just after 1.15 p.m. The chase lasted several minutes, the cops chased them, but were unable to get any closer until the drivers started taking sharp U-turns which slowed them down, giving the police a chance to ram and possibly stop them. The suspect even struck a police cruiser head-on near Climb and Riverbend Roads in southwest Franklin County, where the chase almost ended until one of the cop cars struck the stolen car, prompting the teenage driver to continue head-on. Only this time, this suspect drove into a road construction site using the loose sand dust and decreased the visibility of the police. Most cop cars made it through with a limited speed and were finally able to cash in on the moment when the teenager lost control and struck a tree where he was boxed in seconds before being placed in handcuffs. Number 7. Truckjacker to play a real-life GTA police chase, this guy decided to think big and jack a box truck in Gainesville. With this truck being much larger than any of the pursuing cop cars, officers exercised caution to avoid coming in the way or hitting from the front. The box truck went on several miles, giving exactly no chance for the cops to be able to do anything aside from bumping from the side and sustaining severe damage themselves and barely inflicting any damage to the suspect's vehicle. At one point, officers came close to entrapping the stolen truck driver in the parking lot of Best Buy, but the suspect managed to recover. He kept on taking sharp turns that not only slowed him down, but also made him vulnerable to being struck and put down sideways. However, he still made his way out until dozens of cop cars started to flank him from both sides. In the end, for some reason, the suspect gave up and randomly jumped out of the moving truck and was immediately taken down. Had he stayed in the truck, this chase most definitely could have continued for at least a little while more. Number 8. Reckless Driving In McCanopy, Florida, a patrol car was tasked with watching the traffic when this Chevy Suburban appeared running a stop sign on County Road. The deputy turned his lights and sirens, starting a pursuit that began in the Café Risque parking lot. The suspect, according to the police radio, was under the influence of an alcoholic beverage. He reached a speed of 100 mph in a road construction zone while making obscene gestures at the deputy when any attempts to stop him failed. While exercising caution, multiple piet maneuver attempts were made, with one causing the suspect to spin out but he continued northbound, ramming the deputy's vehicle twice. In a matter of minutes, additional backup arrived with the chase proceeding onto Holoka Boulevard. At this point, one of the other deputies attempted another pit maneuver, which even though failed, helped pin the suspect followed by apprehension. Number 9. Speeding Nemesis For months, a souped-up Dodge Charger, probably a Hellcat, had been giving the police a hard time, slipping away like a pro racer. The driver even played games with the cops, pulling over and then taking off just as they got out of their cars. It was like he was just messing with their heads. In another instance, the charger drove past a cop who tried to chase after it, but as they were on the highway, the driver smoothly merged onto the highway, leaving the cop chasing no one. 
The charger driver was a pro and seamlessly blended into traffic and escaped the capture every time. But like all stories of rebellion, this one had to come to an end at some point. During another bold getaway attempt, the unstoppable charger finally met its match. Every chase has its climax, and for this charger, the tree was the final chapter. Number 10. Fiery Crash This was no ordinary car chase for violating the speed limit or case of suspicion. It was the aftermath of a getaway attempt from a triple shootout in Powder Springs. The suspect was driving in a modified black sedan, which is how he first managed to get a head start in the chase. All thanks to the emergency lane in the middle of the road, which helped the patrol car maneuver during the pursuit. Now, despite having speed to his advantage, the suspect also resorted to driving on the opposite side of the road, hoping to use other vehicles as shields, or at least the means to have the cop car collide with them. When that didn't seem to work, the suspect then proceeded to change the sides of the road, which was the very cause of a crash that knocked out his car. Before arresting the suspect, officers had to put out the fire. After all, a chase like this had to end one way or the other. Number 11, Van Vigilantes. When you steal a van, the chase is on, man. On the evening of February 7, 2024, officers from the Tonty Town Police Department in Arkansas experienced a pursuit they'll never forget. It all started with a distress call from multiple law enforcement agencies. A stolen U-Haul van was speeding at over 120 mph. Little did the officers know, the van's occupants were armed with firearms and Molotov cocktails. Multiple agencies, including the Arkansas State Police, were known for their aggressive pursuit tactics, so they joined the chase. The action was intense. At one point, during a pity maneuver attempt, the officer's speed tracker hit 101 mph. For comparison, many agencies don't recommend pity maneuvers above 45 mph. Just take it easy! Get them out of the car! was the urgent shout. The suspects didn't make it simple, trying to get away even as cops surrounded them. In the middle of all the confusion, they finally got the people out and under control. The chase had kicked off in Locust Grove, Oklahoma, and ended 60 miles away in Springdale, Arkansas. Four police cars were damaged, and the suspects were hit with a bunch of charges, including aggravated assault and criminal conspiracy. Number 12, Charger Spectacle. On February the 6th, 2020, a police officer was heading north on Interstate 530 near mile marker 34, when a black Dodge Charger zipped onto the highway, pushing 75 MPF. Running the plate, he found the real owners in Bryant, Arkansas. After doing his research, he flicked on the lights and sirens, but the Charger driver was waiting for this moment, and he only sped up, hitting 100 to 120 MPF. Soon, their supervisor realized it was just a wild goose chase and called off the chase, but at least they got the plates. Number 13. Wild Ride It all started when the Kansas Highway Patrol tried to stop a speeding white Mercedes near the highway, only to find out that the car had been reported stolen from Johnson County a month ago. The driver threw caution to the wind and dangerously weaved through traffic, disregarding every stoplight in his path. Things got even more tense when he let a female passenger out of the car before zooming away. A helicopter captured the moment he abandoned the stolen Mercedes at Auto Interiors and tried to steal a blue car nearby, but he failed to start it. Even though the cops tried their best, the suspect found a way to escape again by stealing another car. Number 14. Hellcat Havoc One evening in Forsyth County, Georgia, a deputy pulled over a Dodge Charger Hellcat for a suspected DUI. As the deputy approached, the suspect floored it and kicked off a high-speed chase. Within moments, more police officers joined the pursuit. 
The Hellcat weaved through traffic at blistering speeds. Its powerful engine was roaring. The chase was intense, with the Charger pushing its limits. But this time, the deputies had a plan. One deputy deployed spike strips at high speed, and the Hellcat's tires hit them perfectly. Despite the damage, the suspect kept going for a few more wild minutes. Finally, the Charger limped to a stop on the roadside. Deputies swarmed in, and the driver was swiftly apprehended. Number 15. Stolen Lamborghini. When you sleep at the wheel, you'll wake up to chaos. This, 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 this no, vehicle that no. you're driving is stolen. The driver was fast asleep. So the officers repositioned behind the Lamborghini and activated their lights when the light turned green. The driver was a 51-year-old with multiple felony warrants. He was questioned, and a quick check revealed the Lamborghini was reported stolen. When officers asked Dugan to exit the vehicle, he refused and then sped away. In just a few seconds, it turned into a crazy high-speed chase. The guy was driving so fast that the cops didn't stand a chance. But eventually, the dude lost control at an intersection and crashed into a bunch of trees. And just like that, the wild two-minute pursuit came to an end. Number 16. Pond Pursuit On 9 May 2024, a young lady named Melina Logan from North Carolina took a new Honda Civic for a test drive in South Miami and never came back. The Florida Highway Patrol and Miami-Dade Police chased after her as she zoomed through the Palmetto Expressway, hitting speeds of 90 mp and driving like a maniac. The dashcam footage caught her making some really aggressive moves, causing a lot of chaos and a bunch of hit-and-run crashes. It all came to a head when she crashed into a few cars, wrecking her own and getting stuck against a concrete wall. But she wasn't giving up. She jumped out, climbed up a concrete ledge, and took a daring dive into a nearby pond, all in a frantic attempt to get away. She didn't even pay attention to the ropes officers tried throwing at her. Instead, she struggled in the water until they finally pulled her out and took her into custody. Number 17. Youthful Mayhem You can't outrun the long arm of the law, especially if you're just a kid. On March 24, Fayette County deputies tracked down a silver Honda Civic that had been carjacked at gunpoint earlier that morning. An investigator spotted the vehicle and alerted the dispatch and fellow deputies. While getting ready for a serious stop, there was a short chase. The driver hit road signs, mailboxes, and another car before getting out of the vehicle with a gun. When he saw that he was surrounded, he gave up. Shockingly, the person driving turned out to be only 14 years old. Now he is in trouble for theft by receiving, fleeing, and some firearm-related offences. Plus, he already had some charges pending in DeKalb County. Mixing youth and recklessness can be a dangerous combo for sure. Number 18. Truck Pursuit You can run, but can't hide, and 57-year-old Hefner learned this lesson the hard way. On June 7, 2023, Ohio, around 8 p.m., officers spotted Hefner driving a red pickup truck. When they attempted to pull him over, Hefner took off, initiating a high-speed chase that would leave a trail of destruction in its wake. The dashcam footage showed Hefner's crazy attempt to escape, running through stop signs and red lights and barely avoiding multiple vehicles. He even raced across yards and grassy areas, trying hard to lose the cops. The chase reached incredibly high speeds of over 100 mph, putting everyone on the road in danger. The pursuit came to a dramatic end near the intersection in Trotwood, when Hefner took a wide turn and smashed into a pole. Officers quickly apprehended him at the scene. No 19, high-speed justice. No matter how fast you drive, justice is always right behind you, and this be understood by a chase that happened on 29th August 2022, when the cops spotted a stolen Volkswagen on Washington Ard. 
This car was connected to a home invasion and armed robbery in the area. The officers sprang into action and chased the vehicle for several intense minutes. The chase came to an end when one of the officers pulled off a successful pit maneuver, forcing the stolen car to stop. The police then nabbed four suspects, a 35-year-old woman, an 18-year-old woman, a 16-year-old boy, and a 14-year-old boy, all from Milwaukee. These suspects now face serious charges, including reckless endangering safety and fleeing. Number 20, Spider Trap. Not all the perpetrators in a high-speed pursuit are much skilled drivers, even if they do have fancy cars. A reckless driver in a yellow sports car in Florida quickly got himself on the radar of police in the manner of how he was driving, endangering the safety and well-being of innocent drivers and pedestrians. With just a single leading police SUV equipped with a grappler, the cops were easily able to bring the suspect to an immediate halt without causing any serious or even minor accident or collision. The device works as if it were a Spider-Man's web. Number 21. Speed Demons. When speed meets greed, the law takes the lead. And here are the impatient drivers who think they're too important to wait in traffic. On May 11, 2020, two such drivers raced down the left shoulder of the M6 in Walsall, England in a BMW. They zoomed past a police officer stuck in traffic. The officer flipped on his lights, but these two didn't plan on stopping. Speeds hit 90 in a 30 zone, with the BMW mounting curbs and making reckless overtakes. Eventually, the car ended up in a car park, and the driver likely realized too late that the narrow English streets weren't great for outrunning the police, so the passenger holding a bag hopped out and started running, while the driver was pulled over and arrested. During the interrogation, the driver claimed he bought his fancy BMW with money from dog breeding and tree cutting, but he got seven years in jail. And the culprit on foot was caught too, trying to hail a cab after tossing his backpack into a bush, and he got six years. It was now clear to them that when the law catches up, it's game over. That's a wrap on this video. The adrenaline-fueled chases may have ended, but the search for justice continues. Have you ever seen a high-speed chase? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. And while you are at it, why not subscribe as well? We have many more exciting videos coming up. Until next time, drive safe and goodbye.